What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a Minecraft showcase for the new Nether update. It's pretty cool guys. Like you guys have probably seen this on other channels cuz like people that play on PC or maybe even Xbox, I don't know how early it came up for them, but for me it just came out today. So I'm pretty excited to showcase it and show it to you guys, but yeah, um also, uh, the first thing that I want to showcase is the emotes, because I literally just found out that they have emotes, and they give you three free ones right away. So they give you the wave, which, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> and then there's a, there's pointing over there, you know, and there's a simple clap, just bravo. But yeah, I think that's actually a pretty cool addition to like, even like interacting with other people in like Minecraft and stuff, and so yeah. Let's hop in though. So the first thing I wanted to show was the soul fire, the, the, so yeah, it's the soul campfire. So it's like a normal campfire, but it just uses soul fire, which is just blue fire. And then there's a soul lantern and a soul torch to go along with that. And um, then next there's the new netherite armor, which is really cool. See, netherite, full netherite armor. And then there's full netherite uh, set of everything, netherite tools. And also, netherite armor and everything, they will not burn in lava. So if it drops in lava, it won't burn, which I think is pretty cool. And this is how it looks. Well, at least on my skin. Kind of looks like a gladiator. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, and then back here, there are new enchantments. So there are soul speed one, soul speed two, and soul speed three. So basically what soul speed does is it makes you walk faster on soul sand. And so that helps a lot. And then they brought back the enchantments curse of vanishing and curse of binding. You PC players might have still had it, but PlayStation just got that added back. And then there is a uh, stripped crimson stems and warped uh, or stripped warped stems. And these basically from uh, the new like mushrooms then in the new biomes in the nether and then there's a crimson hyphae warped hyphae <coughs> crimson or stripped crimson hyphae and stripped warped hyphae and basically all of these are like it's because the you know how mushrooms when they grow they're like trees these are all like the the trunk of all the trees basically and then you have the crimson neelium, and then you have warped neelium, and then you have warped hyphae, or I mean uh, basalt, this is basalt, sorry, I got mixed up. And then you have polished basalt, and then there's soul soil, and then there's shroom light, there's crying obsidian, and then there's some twisting vines. And uh, these are actually pretty cool. And then th those are like the warped biome vines. And you could actually use it as like a scaffolding too. See, if you crouch, you stop on it. Yeah, so it's basically a scaffolding. And also guys, these right here, there's like these things, weeping vines. And I did actually, so I did just make a video with um, uh, IV. And if you go check out his channel, I was in it. But um, I couldn't hear his audio, so I'm just doing this solo. So apparently these vines, like, they hang from the ceiling. And you can climb up, uh, uh, like, up them too, which is really cool. But yeah, so in that, in his video, I did not know how to do it, but now I do. Because I checked after. But yeah, now let's move on. So then there's warped warp block. There's a nether warp block, and there's a target block too. Like, this thing is cool. Like, you could use it for target practice, you know? I think that's a really cool addition. But, the cool, uh, like a really cool one, is this chain. So, there's like, it's like for making dungeons and stuff. It's just a cool design, really. And then there's a warped door, and then a crimson door, and then a warped trap door, a crimson trap door. Then there's polished blackstone stairs. Polished blackstone stairs. Wait, 
Wait, what was the difference? I don't know. And then there's Blackstone Stairs, there's Crimson Stairs, Warp Stairs, and um, there's block of, there's a block of Netherite. There's Lodestone, there's Nether Gold Ore. I don't know the difference, I think it's just gold and Nether, really. There's Ancient Debris, and Ancient Debris is what you mine to get, um, what do you call it, Netherite. So, it'll, when you mine Ancient Debris, it's really rare to find. And when you mine it, it gives you, I think, uh, ne yeah, it gives you netherite scraps. And you have to form the netherite scraps and the netherite ingots, and then you can make stuff with those netherite ingots. It's pretty complicated, but the ar the weapons and armor are really OP, so. And then there is the crimson planks and uh, warped planks. Then there's polished blackstone brick wall. There's a polished blackstone wall. And there's a blackstone wall. There's crimson fence gate, a uh, warped fence gate. And there's a warped fence, crimson fence, a uh, crimson slab, warped slab, um, pol or a blackstone slab, polished blackstone slab, and a polished blackstone brick slab. And this is my favorite block right here, but it is the gilded blackstone. It's actually it's the most amazing block in my opinion. Like. It's really like blackstone with like lava erupting in it. Like, you guys see how like cool builds I can make with this? Like, there's gonna be some cool designs. And maybe if you guys want, uh, comment down below if you want me to show off. Cause I have a world in creative where I've done build battles against my friends. But yeah, and I kind of just build for fun too. But yeah, and then there's a chiseled polished blackstone and there's cracked polished blackstone. And that we're gonna be saving for last. And then now it's time for like the mobs and stuff in the nether. So yeah, let's get into it. So then, so first there's this, so see, if you don't know how to make basalt, you just get, you get blue ice. And I just use pistons to make it easier to show an example, but blue ice makes flowing lava or just a block of lava turn into basalt which is really cool it has like when uh, blue ice is put in lava or around it it'll turn it into basalt and the first mo there's new mob so the first mob that we have is a zoglin it's the same thing as a hoglin it's just a zombie hoglin and how you get one of those is you get a hoglin in the regular world and then you th you put it in a nether portal and it turns into a zoglin but um yeah, I would not recommend that unless you're very powerful, because these things will destroy you. Then, there is a piglin. So yeah, the piglin, basically, it's, um, I, I don't know if they're the same thing as what I'm going to show earlier, but, um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure the same thing as, as these, um, which are over here. Mm -hmm. The, yeah, these are the same things. Yeah, they're piglins. So basically, you can trade with these guys, though. This is what I'm going to show over here. So basically, mm -hmm. if you get gold ingots, gold, and then I show it to them, mm -hmm. and if you see on the bottom right, it'll say that I can barter. And basically, what that means is that I can give them gold, and it'll trade with them. So there's two ways you can give them gold. You can either just look at them, and do barter, okay? And if you see, he'll like put the gold in his hand. He'll look at it for a while, and then he'll throw something at you. So I got soul sand. So yeah. And so, or you can just throw stuff on the. So you can throw the gold on the ground, just like this. So yeah, throw it on the ground, and they'll pick it up. That also works. That is one way. Well, let's see what I'll get. I got a fire charge. Let's see if I get one item that I wanted to show. I don't know if I... I got it. Yeah, so see, look. You can get this right here. This is how you get... This is how you get the... This block right here. The crying obsidian. Um, so Isaac did tell me that... Um, that in the old Minecraft, that when this was at, this was here before, Crying Obsidian, it like set your spawn point or something. So I don't know if it does that still. 
and I haven't tested it, but I probably will soon, but I'm not going to today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so see? I'm just chilling. But yeah, I'm gonna... Alright, let's move on to the next next mob. So yeah, that's that, those ones. So now, move on. So now there's a zombified pit or piglin, yeah? So it's like a pigman, but it's like zombified. I don't know the difference, but yeah. And then there's there's striders. These are like little guys that can walk on the lava and stuff. And so how you need to, you, how you're able to ride them is you need a saddle. You don't need to like hop on them constantly like a horse. You could just put it on right away. But to control them, you have to use warp fungus on a stick. And how you make warp fungus on a stick is you get a fishing rod and some warped fungus and you find warped fungus in the warped biomes so yeah here so oh this one already has them oh yeah so by the way there is a, a small chance that they these can spawn with saddles and if you kill them they can they drop up to zero to eight i think it is zero to eight string yeah they drop up to zero to eight string and if you kill them, and then there's a chance that they can drop a saddle too. Yeah, see, look, just walk down lava just fine. But, um, I do recommend if you get one of these. Oh, look, that's actually cool. One's a baby's riding on his head. But, yeah, I do recommend if you get one of these, make like a parking station. Because I'll show you. Look, what happens if you, like, decide to park? It, you, you can't, like, get off and it'll throw you, it'll throw you directly under it into the lava so you're gonna want to be like on a piece of land and, you know you can make like a contraption like this they're really slow on land by the way you could just push them back into the lava uh, well if they would stay down there but oh it's because i had the thing out see like you can make a contraption like this and just push them out and bam yeah so yeah that's how that works the striders <coughs> and yeah so hogland is like they're basically hogs and they give you, they drop pork or raw pork when you kill them. These guys just drop uh, rotten flesh, the zombified hoglins. These guys drop gold and different weapons too, and probably rotten flesh too, I don't know. But yeah, and now for the final item guys, the one that I've been waiting to show you guys. So look at this. Alright, so. Ready? So you think it's just a regular thing. So you're supposed to put glowstone in it, and this actually looks really sick. <laughs> yeah. So if you do that, it'll explode. So basically, you get they're called um they're called respawn anchors. I don't know why they're called that because like you don't respawn on them. But yeah. So if you put one down, I already tested this. You, d you can respawn on them, so you can put up to four glowstone in there, and then just explode it, just like that. It's pretty cool. I mean, I think it's kind of more of a trolling item, but yeah, I think I think that's it for today, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.